Reading music notation on the staff. Music is written upon a five-line staff and four spaces. Each line and space represents a pitch or a particular sound. Individual pitches on the staff are printed symbols shaped like an oval. These oval symbols can either be hollow or solid and are placed on a line or space. Each line can be represented with a number. The bottom line is labeled as 1. The next line will be labeled 2. After line 2 is line 3, then 4, and lastly, the top line will be labeled 5. The space between each line can also be labeled with numbers. The bottom space is 1 and is followed by 2, 3, and 4 as you move up the staff. When a note is printed on a line or space, it sings its sound. If a note is written at the bottom of the staff, the sound will be low or deep. This is opposite in nature. When a note is written at the top of the staff, the sound will sound much higher. When a note that has been printed on line 3 it is said, that note is on the third line. If a note is written in the second space, it is said, that note is in the second space. This is true for lines 1, 2, 4, and 5, as well as spaces 1, 3, and 4. Labeling the lines and spaces with numbers help professionals and students identify various pitches as well as studying their melodic patterns. When looking at two different notes on the staff, how do you determine which note is higher or lower from the other? Here is an example of two pitches written on a staff. The note on the left is near the bottom, while the second note on the right is near the top. This means the first note will sound lower from the second note. Since the second note is higher than the first, this tells the listener that the melodic line or music is moving higher. Here is another example of two pitches written on a staff. The note on the left is near the top of the staff. while the second note on the right is near the bottom. This means the first note will sound higher from the second note. Since the second note is lower than the first, this tells the listener that the melodic line or music is moving lower. Here is an additional example when two notes are notated on the same line on a staff. Not one note sounds higher or lower from the other. This means that these two notes are sounding at the unison. Therefore, the melodic line or music is neither moving higher nor moving lower, but staying the same while moving through time. This includes reading music notation on the staff.